Here's a NIMVITAL quick start video for acoustic neuroma. So once you turn on your NIM, again, you're going to touch this button on the bottom right hand corner. It's going to highlight itself or light up completely, and it's going to come up to this main monitoring screen. We're going to hit default profile. We're going to pick which procedure we're wanting to do. It's an acoustic neuroma, so it's a neuroautology procedure. So we select neuroautology, and we're going to look at all the different options that we have here. Now for acoustic neuroma, we have acoustic neuroma two channel or we have acoustic neuroma four channel. So depending on how many nerves that the surgeon wants to monitor is how many electrodes you're gonna be using and which one you're gonna pick. The most common one would be acoustic neuroma two channel. So we're gonna select acoustic neuroma two channel. Here you're gonna be using those subdermal needle electrodes that they're gonna be placing above the eye and above the lip. You're also going to be placing your two electrodes in your sternum, uh, your green ground, and your return lead. In this screen here, as you see, this is where we have to undock our patient interface. So we take the patient interface from the back of the NIM. That red square is going to go to a green square, which means that it's now reading our Bluetooth device. And now we can proceed to the next screen. On the next screen, which we select here with the arrow, it's going to show you how to connect your electrodes for this procedure. Again, we're going to be monitoring facial nerves, so we're going to be placing electrodes above the eye and above the lip, along with our other two electrodes. You're going to place them in the patient interface. The patient interface will be flashing that channel that needs to be connected. Right now, I have them connected, so they're not flashing. They're completely solid to let you know. Once on the screen, you get all of your green check marks to let you know that everything is connected. We'll proceed to the next step. So we're just going to hit our arrow here and now we're in our main monitoring screen. Now you can continue your case. Your NIM wants to be located and you need to locate it in the OR either at the head of the bed or at the foot of the bed. You want to try to keep it plugged into its own outlet that way it doesn't pick up any interference from any other pieces of equipment. It's all wireless with regards to your patient interface as well as your muting. So you don't have to connect any wires anywhere. It'll pick up any nerve uh, movement or muscle movement wirelessly with your patient interface and anytime they go to use electrocautery the NIM will automatically mute to let you know that it's not monitoring when you're using electrocautery. Thank you.